Hi everyone, this is Ants. As you saw on the Godot Discord servers, um, 4.5 Dev 5 snapshot was released. And if you actually saw it, you may have saw a few things that are like, oh, that's really cool, that's really cool. One of the cool things is you could actually do Shader Baker and it increases um, load times um, by 20, at least on the third person shoot, uh, shooter de uh, demo. Uh, that's great, but what I was looking at, which I thought was a humongous game changer, especially coming from libgdx, is this. Is WebAssembly SIMD support on export. It's going to be turned on by default. So just to give you some history on Godot uh, 4, that's, you know, I started uh, using Godot 4.1 and 2. It was uh, Web exports were actually really bad. They were they were they were bad, and the reason why is they uh, made a really bad as assumption. They made uh, an assumption that multi-threading for the web would become the standard. But what happened is Spectre and a security threat came uh, around, and it exposed a major major um, threat vector um, to uh, gaining access to data you should not get access to. But anyways. Um, what that eventually did is a lot of browsers didn't support it and there was a lot of issues with it. Itch.io actually supports uh, multi-threaded uh, uh, builds, but uh, once 4.3 came around, um, uh, single-threaded builds were now the default, and but multi-thread builds were supported. But generally, most people don't use it. Even I don't use it. Now... That's, that was a big uh, drawback because um, having only single threaded, how do you improve the performance on your web builds? Well, they're going down another path, which is single instruction, uh, multiple data. And um, these instruction sets have been in CPUs for the longest time. It started off with MMX, MMX2, AVX, uh, SSE, SSC. Like there's so many different instruction sets now and depending on the silicon, it ch it's different. But because Godot is built with C++, all the SIMD um, uh, support uh, and code is, is available to be uh, now, um, those optimizations of SIMD support are now gonna be pushed to the web and it's huge. So first of all, before I'm gonna go into the actual metrics of how much uh, improvement um, we're, we're gonna expect is the reason why they're doing it now is basically every single major um, browser is uh, has a, a WebAssembly SIMD support. Uh, you know, IE, which is no longer supported, like who uses IE and, uh, you know, Mini Opera, that's the only ones that actually kind of don't support it. 97% of mobile uh, users have browsers that support um, SIMD and 93% of all other users uh, support SIMD. They're basically saying they're gonna be dropping support for any browser older than 2023. Uh, they're talking about that. But anyways, what I'm trying to get at is, by default, SIMD exporting uh, of uh, WebAssembly uh, builds is gonna happen. Now, you could always turn it off if you want, but yeah, they've turned it on. Okay, so here is the merged uh, pull request of Wasm SIMD and enable it by default, which is fantastic. I am so excited by this because I do game jams and I do exclusively web stuff. People don't like downloading stuff off itch or uh, Game Jolt and all that. Actually, Game Jolt's built better because they do uh, virus checking, but I don't even think itch.io does any virus checking or malware checking. But anyways, that's another issue. But anyways, um, yeah, SIMD um, support by default. And you have to realize, like I said, is the entire Godot game engine is made with C++, which means the entire engine is available to export with SIMD optimizations to the web now, which is fantastic. And as, uh, by the way, the reason, one of the reasons why they actually went with uh, Joel Ph Physics is because it's so fast. And the reason why it's so fast is it, it does a heavy use of SIMD in its um, core. And that's the reason why um, they, they chose that. And now Jolt Physics will actually work. Oh, like from, from, I'm gonna give you, show you the data, like double the FPS 
sometimes 15 times uh, um, more FPS on heavy loads. But anyways, also array copies, like everything in mem copy, all that kind of stuff, all the stuff in the engine is gonna have, gonna get faster on the web, right? So they went through a couple of uh, performance tests here. So they have uh, the specifications here and Firefox is really slow. And I'll show you the comparison between uh, Chrome and Firefox on the before and after. So after means SIMD support build, right? And the before is 100 uh, FPS and it went up to 200 FPS. Um, so, uh, you know, double the performance, right? But during heavy loads, and they call it the physics spiral of death, before it was doing 6 FPS and after it's doing 61 FPS. That's 10 times faster on extremely heavy loads, right? Uh, on Chrome, um, it's, it's not double. It's almost, it's not even 50% on uh, light loads, but on heavy loads, this physics spiral of death. Um, and um, it actually increases it, um, what is that, close to 15, 14 to 15 times. Now, uh, even the binary size, uh, with SIMD support enabled, the binary gets 150K larger, but with compression, it's actually smaller, which I don't understand how that's, he said it's also a tad faster to slow. Um, as you can see, with, uh, without SIMD, it's 10 megabytes and the size is expanded to 40 megabytes, and with SIMD, it's bigger in size, but the compression is better. So it's kind of odd. Either way, I honestly think for the amount of performance you're getting, an extra 130K uncompressed is fine. Uh, compressed, it's smaller, so there's no issue there, right? So the other things that are going on is like use SSC for Platoon as a baseline when compiling Godot. So I think what they're saying here is they're gonna make the compiler do more optimizations to, to, so that it increase, like now they're doubling down on S um, SIMD. They're making more optimizations when they compile the engine so that when they you compile um, um, not only your desktop, but also uh, WebAssembly web modules basically is gonna be faster. Like honestly, it, this is fantastic news. It's, it's, I honestly think this is, this is, this is great. I can't wait for this. Uh, I mean, I came from libgdx and you know, it's using Java. Java doesn't use, the libgdx core does not use uh, SIMD in its core. Now you could use Jolt Physics and there is a TVM version of that. And I don't know if they're enabling SIMD compiling into WebAssembly module, but either way, even if they are, um, the, the core engine is still not using SIMD, right? Um, Java has SIMD kind of um, incubator type um, packages, but it's not built into libgdx and, and nobody's using it. But anyways, yeah, this is this is fantastic. So just as a nutshell is 4.5 in terms of performance, they fixed the labeling, uh, like they fixed a lot of performance issues. I think they're focusing on performance and they're, they're doubling down on SIMD optimizations even in the engine during compile of the engine and now they're enabling by default uh, WebAssembly SIMD support. So it's going to be tremendous amount of improved performance on your web builds. I'm excited. I don't know if you are, but I just wanted to get let you guys know um, a little bit more information on this WebAssembly SIMD support. Hopefully you enjoyed that. Take care and have a great day.